Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from the One Spark Festival in Jacksonville, Florida. And unfortunately, I'm not able to be here very long, but we'll talk to some interesting people while I am, and I hope that you enjoy it. Organic Recycling Factory. I'm Ed Hubbard, and uh, this is our Chief Operations Tail. And we're here today at One Spark, especially here today, to try to sell the idea of a earthworm factory, because we can actually take a lot more waste out of the system. Um, why should your viewers care? Because they profess we love the earth, and one of the things we can do is make sure that all of our organic material and all of our organic ideas can be implemented in a very easy way. Uh, and the way we can do it this weekend, if you're anywhere near Jacksonville, come out to the uh, One Spark campaign and vote for 20760, Days of the Recyclers. If you're not there, check out wormvan.com and you can help us online. So tell me what earthworms do. Earthworms, they eat organic waste and turn it into compost, fertilized compost. And how much do they eat? They have to body weight a day. So 300 worms eat a great deal. Great deal, yes. Right now we have 1,000 pounds of worms, so we get rid of about 500 pounds of waste a day. We might have to be one spark over here for 10 tons. Excellent. As the chief worm regulator, I am tasked with yeah. getting material for the worms, and processing uh, it, and feeding them. Uh, they're voracious eaters. Worms can eat uh, half their body weight a day. So if you have a pound of worms, that's a half pound of food right there. Uh, basically, we get in a variety of organic material. The worms are very picky. They'll eat uh, paper, cardboard, vegetable uh, scraps. Uh, a big supplier that we have right now is uh, byproducts of the coffee from the coffee production process. Uh, coffee grounds are a great resource. They're year round. Uh, they're available year round. And we also get the chaff, which is the outside of the bean that's taken off in the roasting process, and the burlap bags themselves. And the worms go to town on it, we eat it, and uh, live in it. And basically, the result is rich, rich compost that you can put in your plants. Very good, thank you. My name is Gary Sass. I have a company called Ad Lib Tours. We also do Jacksonville walking tours. And we have a project here at One Spark called the Secret Tunnel Tour and Restoration. And today we are restoring this old vault here, taking the rust off it, repairing the glass, uh, doing work inside the room, inside the old safe deposit boxes that are here. Every Tuesday and Thursday morning we do something called the Jacksonville Top to Bottom Tour that we take people in here. But during One Spark, this is all going to be open to show people, and we're very excited. And hopefully, we'll find a sponsor who can help us restore the old vault. Wonderful. And if people would like to learn more about your tours, where would they go? To adlibtours.com. And if you'd like to support our creator project, our number is 20177, and we're down in venue 58. Thank you very much. My name is Chris Leslie. I'm the owner of Greater Ancestors World Museum. Um, we are inside of a 1,600 square foot bank vault. This is a hidden history museum of, of giants. This example right here is, a, is the largest example of a dragonfly. Uh, from Italy. It has a six foot wingspan. It's much larger to, than today. In the Greater Ancestors model, the idea is that uh, everything is bigger, better, faster, stronger, and smarter in the past. And what I want to do is I want to have a place where people can come to and see the largest examples of everything. I, I believe it's across the board from single celled organisms to the blue whale. And, um, and if you come here, You'll, you'll see these examples. And if people would like to learn more about you, where can they learn uh, more? You can go to greaterancestors.com and, uh, and see more of this. And you could, you could spend weeks there. There's um, Greater Ancestry is based into three categories, greater animals, greater humans, and greater technology. And, um, so you can go there and, and see all these examples for this model. Very good, thank you. Thank you. And could you give me your number for people to vote? Um, my number is 20441. Thank you very much.
Thank you. So I've been enjoying the One Spark Festival. I'd really hope to be able to spend more time here than I've been able to, but I'm on my way to Lustration, so I really only had one day. But I hope you've enjoyed what we've seen, and if you happen to be in the Jacksonville, Florida area and you come down to One Spark, please consider voting for the presenters that were kind enough to give us interviews, and also anyone else you see who you think would be good to vote for. So I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that you're having a wonderful time with whatever you're doing. And until next time, may you blessed be.